right? That's 10. I want these guys, I don't want you to turn the square up to 10, I want you to keep it about 10. You know what I mean? Let's go 2 and 2. 2 and 2. Back up, give them a little room, guys. You guys can add some finishes if you want, because you guys are zero. Nice knee pull single, right? Ah, this guy, he's pretty good. I think I was eight and a half. That's all right. Get that stereo turned away. He's not full wrestling. I'd be nervous. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. How many times do you get a drill on full wrestling? Nice. All right, let's give him a hand. Yeah. So that's what I want you to get. I want you to get that, right? I don't know who else to teach it, but I'm going to be the best you're going to see for the next two days, okay? That's just the way I think. I'm going to be the best. So I just told you exactly what you got to learn, okay? Those guys never coached 69 high school state champs, so don't let them snow you, okay? Don't let them snow you. No, you got some good clinicians coming in. But that's what you got to have. That's what you got to have to be good at the high school level. That's what you got to have to be good at the college level. And that's Jordan Burroughs. That's what you got to have at the international level. Dude's always in one stance watching wrestling. He's like a stick of dynamite the whole time. Right? So doing this drill is really important. Doing this drill right here, he's double guy. Alright, or a single guy. Alright, wrestling by yourself. Always ready to go. Taking that first big step. Really, really important. Greatest guys are really weird. So you go on wrestling by yourself in your wrestling room, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Your whole school and your girlfriend and everybody else might think you're weird, but who cares? Get the stance of wrestling. Stay in the stance and go five minutes of shooting. You won't need to do anything else that day. That's what's going to make you famous. Let's get the guys laid. All right, the second thing you got to know from the bottom, and we won't drill per se too much. I'll give you some pointers, but you got to have, you got to be able to get away from anybody in under 20 seconds. I know that sounds easier said than done. If I get taken down, that's okay. But I gotta get position and I gotta get back out. Right? My start bottom, second period, third period, I gotta be able to get away. One of the hardest positions to get really good at. Some guys just kind of are better at it naturally than other guys. One of the hardest things from college, from high school to college, is for us to teach guys how to get away. The most important thing about bottom is, like a lot of these coaches in this room will tell you, it's about effort. It's about the tough guy. It's not so much about technique. I can show you some technique and show you a couple pointers. But it's more than anything an attitude when you get down. Right? It's an attitude that I don't care what happens, I'm getting up. If, he, if I get up once and he throws me back down, I'm going to keep getting up until he finally says, this guy's insane. I'm just letting him go. That's the kind of attitude you got to have at the bottom. So when you get taken down, that's the most opportune time to get your knees underneath you and to come up. That's the most opportune time. Right? Or it's the most inopportune time. When you get taken down and you think about it, I always say 1001, 1002. In college wrestling, there's a four point turn and riding time. If you dumb off in college wrestling, you're screwed. Right? Worst case scenario, you're going to get ridden and lose a point for riding time. But as good as guys are top right now, you're probably going to get turned to top of it. So understanding the importance of bottom, not so much just when we go bottom and set. Top man on. Right, that's important. But more so, Charlie, do your high trots. Finish on me gently. I'm old, right? Finish on me gently. Right here. Now, what the referee just do? Two, stay right there. I got to get my knees back up underneath me, and I got to fight up. I call that transition. I call that bottom transition. So being good at the bottom when the referee goes bottom and set top and down. But even more importantly, everybody gets taken down. Because when you get taken down, being that guy that continually gets up. One of my assistant coaches, Coach St. John, if you watch him wrestle in Iowa, and if you just watch him train in our room, tall, skinny guy, wrestles so hard. Right? He wrestles in like 97, my heavyweights. They take him down right away. He breaks him, gets him tired, because he tries so hard at the bottom. They just don't want to ride it. Right? you got to be a guy that don't want to ride. And that just comes from effort. So a good drill you can do with your partner is, Charlie's going to take you down. This is going to be called bottom transition. Then we're going to move on to the bottom. Right? Takes me down right here. Score. Right here. Sit my head. i got to get knees underneath me. i got to get knees underneath me. i got to seal up. And i got to clear. And if he takes me down again, come down here. Right? My 
got to be about getting your knees underneath you and coming up. By the way, these aren't my shorts. They wouldn't normally fall down. I didn't get my luggage last night, so my good shorts are gone. So I had to wear Coach Robbins. Or Coach Robbins. That's a joke. One, two, three. Try transitions. 